Um, I've sent you 800,000 for two years rent. Yeah, I received it. You received it, huh? Yeah, I just received it. That's good. Um, I'm going to be out of the country for some time. So please make sure they are fine. You have nothing to worry about. My company is secure for them. So what about the receipt? Oh, I forgot. You know, I was rushing to meet up, so I... But trust me, I will prepare the receipt. Okay, try and get the receipt ready and give it to Adora. Make sure she get it. Trust me, I will do just that. It's okay, thank you so much. I love you. Have a nice day. Thanks. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Are you sure you know what you are doing? I started a relationship with her before I traveled. So what about Judy? Yes, what about her? You are really not asking me that, are you? I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. You what? What do, you, what do you mean you don't know? Oh, I see. This could prove to me that you are going to cause a great damage to her. Then she shouldn't have bothered helping me out to locate her. So you are not blaming me, right? You are not blaming me for showing you a house. Ask her. See. There is no problem. Ask her. Ask her. I am old <laughs> enough and too intelligent to know what I want from a woman. Okay? It's been long overdue between Ada and I. <laughs> From the way I'm seeing it, there is a great storm coming. And I have to start preparing my international passport to travel. Because it will not happen in my present. Please, can you just drive me? I don't get to see you. What is going on? You know I've been busy. Busy with what exactly? Hmm? You and I came here for one thing and that is to see my father. That you haven't done since we got here. So what exactly have been keeping you busy? I don't know why you always look for trouble when it's not necessary. Huh? It's not that I've left the village without seeing your father. So what's the fuse all about? Huh? Nandi, don't... Nandi! Nandi! There is absolutely nothing to be worried about just yet. He might be busy, like he said. You mean to tell me men around here could get so busy not to remember there's a woman lying next to him? I think so. He hasn't even touched me for this, and it's one like him. That guy is a maniac. Wow. I can imagine. Stop getting ideas, will you? No, my princess, I am not. I'm just saying you shouldn't be bothered just yet. He might still come around. It's okay. You should get us already. We are going out to see the doctor. Okay, my princess, I will. Amara, ah. how are you? I'm fine. Where have you been? I traveled. Is you? And you didn't even bother to tell us. Hey. Eh? Do you know Nonso has been asking after you? 
I'm sorry. Um, I traveled in a hurry. My elder sister gave birth to a baby boy. So I went there to stay with them, pending on when my mother arrives. Ah, this is good news. Thank I'm you. so happy for you. Thank uh -uh. you. Ha. Um, how is Nonso? How is he doing? He's fine. He now stays in the palace. My friend, the princess, took him there to spend some time with her. Very sure you miss him so much. Mm, mm. <laughs> Go, I know. <laughs> Good afternoon. The princess requires your attention at the palace urgently. I hope there's no problem. I don't know, ma'am. Okay. Uh, tell her I'll be there soon. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. I don't understand though. <laughs> it's really strange that the princess will send a card to me instead of calling me on the phone. I think maybe she's trying your line but it's not going through. You know the network of this our village. Okay, um, um please, I have food on the fire. Okay. Just take care of it for me. No huh? problem. Let me Check out the king's chambers. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Make sure you got her very well. My king, you scared me. Adela, I am surprised to see you in my inner chamber. Have you agreed to marry me now? No, 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 no. I came to look for Judy. Uh, uh, it's obvious she's not here, so I have to go now. Excuse me. I've been waiting for an opportunity like this. And I believe you came here today on a purpose. No? No, 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 please. No! Make please stop! Stop! Oh! Stop! No! <laughs> Adora and stubbornness.
Did you see my brother and the princess? Oh yes, they went out. They went out. So that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, you're so funny. That is the story. <laughs> you know what? Um, I think the food is ready. Let me go dish out some for you. Okay. So when I come back, you can continue telling me the okay. story. You know what? <laughs> I know. Food and story. They go together. Yeah, you come again. I'm coming. Okay. Let me go get it. You fast, eh? Okay. I'm coming, though. I'm waiting. Oh, what a beautiful day. I'm mm. guabo. Wait, did I not ask you what are you doing in my house? I thought I told you to stay away from my house. What's up, baby? No, 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 no. Don't even try it. What are you doing here? I came to see you. That's right. Sister, welcome. Thank you, my dear. Amara, what is this? Why are you giving him my food? Sister. Hmm. And you? Hmm? Did you come here to see me or you came here to eat? Good. I came to see you. I deserve to be eating while I wait for you. When you're done eating, find your way out of my house. Mm. Mm. Um, who made this food? I made this myself. Mm. Yes. Ay, so sweet, so delicious. Thank you. Mm. Um, let me go get water for you. And more meat. Mm? No problem. For more story. No problem. Come. Mm. What do you really want from me? I want you. I waited for you. I waited for you until I started having a rethink. What makes you think I am available? Or that I am still single. Or that I even want you as much as you want me. What makes you think that? Love. When I look into your eyes, I see love. Real love coming out from your heart. I know you still love me, just like as I do. So why don't you give me a chance to make it right to you? How do I know that you will not take me halfway into the lake and abandon me there again? Just one more chance to show you how real I am this time around. Oh. Hello? Yes, I called you. You asked me to come to the palace and I did. I searched everywhere for you. I didn't find you there. Eh? What? You didn't send for me. This is strange. Um... Oh, um, okay. Uh, I heard you went to the doctors with Jin also. Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, it's fine. I'll call you back. Yes, I'll call you back. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. 
It's my friend, Princess Judy. Princess Judy? Yes, you know her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who doesn't know Princess Judy, the only daughter of the king? That's correct. Okay, I have to run now. Uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Sebastian. My king. Go inside my inner chamber. Get the file that contains the agreement between this kingdom and our foreign partners. Yes, my king. And Barrister. My king. Uh, what I want you to do is to go through the documents and find out the clause that will be detrimental to us. All right, my king. Okay. Uh, how is your family? Everybody is fine, my king. Thank you very much. My king, I cannot find it, my king. What? What do you mean that you cannot find it? I, I searched everywhere, my king. I but it's there in my safe. It's not there, my king. About the foreign currencies in that safe. My king, the safe box is empty. Empty? Yes, my king. Hey! Assemble everyone in this palace. Now! By the way, my king. My foreign currencies. Cosmos. I, for one, thought our paths will not cross again. What do you want? Well, we have a warrant to search this house for the king's missing documents and dollar bills. <laughs> the king's documents and dollar bills are missing, and you came to search for them here? How? The statistics for the last two days' visitors to the King's Palace shows that you're the last visitor before the documents got missing. You can go and search. Go, no, go and search because I'm very sure you will not find anything there. Thank you very much. Officer, please go on. I just hope they don't find anything inside. I'm not Hi, there is no way you could have found this in there. There is no way. Because I, I did not take anything. Madam, I, I did not take Madam, anything. You are under arrest for breaking into the king's palace and stealing his documents and dollar bills. You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Why will I remain silent? I did not take anything. You couldn't have found this there. I did not take What a wicked world. Shall we ray here, The cloud has turned back and fade. Talk to me and save yourself from this inhuman treatment. 
you are just inflicting pains on me for nothing. For no reason. I did not take the king's documents. I did not take his money. That is what you said the last time you were here. And remember you were here for food poisoning. And up to your date, it hasn't been proven whether you are innocent or not. And now you have done the same evil to a man who would have been able to save you from this mess. The king is like a father to me. There is no way, there is no way I could have stolen from him. Believe me, I did not do it. I did not. Do you have a penchant? For being on the wrong side of life. Now listen to me, woman. I am born being lenient with you. If you don't tell me who sent you, if you don't tell me the truth now, I will get it out in my own way. I am innocent. I am innocent. I can see that you are testing my patience. Officer, oh. get me the electric iron. Hi, no, 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 please, please, I am begging you, don't even. Are you ready to confess? I did not do it. You are not serious. Oh, unless you want me to I lie. Will. See. Dad, please hold on. It's a daughter we are talking about. Are you sure she really took the documents and money? I believe she did. Because she has committed a crime that could have landed her in jail. But I used my influence to save her from rotting in jail. That same girl has the temerity to steal from me after all that I did for her. Please calm down, Daddy. I will go to the police station and find out from her if she really did. Do whatever. But I promise you, she must pay for it. She must pay for Insulting me and desecrating my palace. Yes! Oh God! Go to my rescue! What do you do? I rely on you! Drop! 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 All of it. Remember, we've been friends since we were kids. Did you steal from my dad? Like you rightly said, we have been friends since we were toddlers. So there's no point lying to you. I did not steal from the king. Why would I even do that? Why? Then who did? Who? Because I was told you were in my father's room. What did you go there to do? To look for you. To look for me. Hello? I know it might sound stupid, but that is the truth. One of your guards came to the house and said he wanted to see me. On getting to the palace, I was told you were in the king's chamber. So I went there. <laughs> On getting there. Mm -hmm. Continue. What happened?
my my king, you scared me. Ada, I am surprised to see you in my inner chamber. Have you agreed to marry me now? No, 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 no. I came to look for Judy. Uh, uh, it's obvious she's not here, so I have to go now. Excuse me. I've been waiting for an opportunity like this. And I believe you came here today on a purpose. No? No, 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 please. No! no. My kid, please stop! Stop! Hey! Stop! No! <laughs> Wait. You want me to believe that you went into my dad's room in search of me. And on getting there, my father, the king, tried to rape you. Is that your story? Yes. Not only that. He has been asking me to marry him for a while now, and I refused. Who knows? This might be his way of getting back at me for, for, for refusing his proposal. Stop it. Are you stupid? Are you sick? How dare you drag my father, the king, into your pettiness and lies? My father is an honorable man and can never condescend that low to asking you to be his wife. What can you possibly offer him? If he needed a woman, he knows a suitable class to get one. Do you know what? I will not sit here and listen to your words. My dad was right about you. You're nothing but a thief. And I hope you rot in here. Princess, you knew she said that. She did. Look, I know my dad. He can never condescend that law. My princess, it's not about your dad condescending law. It's about what she said. Imagine people hearing about this. This girl has beaten more than she can chew. <coughs> my princess, you have to do something about it or you don't have to take it lightly. She dare not. If she decides to continue with such nonsense, then I will deal with her in my own way. Where's her brother? The blind boy is upstairs. Pack his miserable things. I need him out of this palace immediately. Immediately, my princess. My. Sir, where am I? Sir, where am I? Excuse me, sir. Hey. Somebody else, where am I? 
Yes. Amara. Yes. Amara, is that you? Yes, it's me. Hey. How are you? Where is my sister? Amara. Yes. Amara, where is my sister? She went out. She went out? Mm. Where did she go? She went out. She'll be back soon, okay? I'm so glad to see you. Amara. Mm? Are you sure she's going to come back? She will. I'm so glad to see you. Come, let's go inside. Okay. Where are we? You're at home. Okay, then go. Where have you go been? She's been gone for so long. Can you help me get her out? Do you want your father to fry me? That girl is innocent. Okay, then tell the king. Yes, because I know you two are in good relationship. Except you don't want him to know that you are involved. Am I right? Now that you figured it out with Mr. Smart, can you now help me get her out? Namde, it's difficult. Yes, it's hard for me. I know, I know. But you see, you're the best attorney here. That's why my father had you in his bedroom. And you want to kick me out from eating the money? Come on, bro, come on. You know I got you back. Come on, help me out, please. Um, you know what? I will see what I can do. But please, don't mention my name in. Please. Thank you. Thank you, please. Help us talk to the king. Let him know that my sister is innocent. Please, Uncle. Biko. Chinoso. Uncle. You want me to go to the king? And I tell him that your sister is innocent. And it's the king that is lying against your sister by accusing her falsely. Is that what you want to me, O'Connor, to go and tell the king? I came to Adora severally, persuading her to accept the king's offer. What did she do? She made me look like a stupid man for trying to push her into prosperity. Rather, she preferred to to steal from the same man she rejected. I hear that talking to me. Uncle, I know my sister very well. She can't do a thing like that. She's not a thief. The Adora you used to know when you had your sight is no longer the same. Do not vouch for her. Um, Uncle. Please, if not for anything, do it for their father who was your brother. My dear, all I think I can do for them, I have done it all. But it's like my best is not good enough. They are cost. So I can't continue wasting my time on them. I don't know about you. If you work it out, them, or them, how can you say anything like that? We are not cost. We can never be. Get out of my house now. Mas, oh, this one. Don't you it's okay. Everything will be fine. Trust me. My sister is innocent. And you know it. Everybody knows that my sister is innocent. Why is my uncle behaving like this? It's okay. God will make a way. It's okay, let's go.
So, how are you feeling now? I'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything you did for me. Thank you. Just that I, I don't understand what is going on. It's just from one problem to the other. I, 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 I'm, 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 I, I don't understand. It's okay. Stop talking too much, okay? You'll be fine. I promise you. It's just a matter of time. You'll be fine, okay? Okay. What of Chinoso? Oh, Chinoso, Chinoso is fine. He's fine. <sighs> you know, he'll be pleased to know that you're out of detention. <laughs> I'll let him know. Yeah. Okay, um, let me go tell the hotel about your food. Hmm? Okay. What do you mean that the case has been transferred? You transferred the case without my consent, I the accuser, and you just allow the accused move on like that. That my case has been transferred to the state headquarters. Who gave the order? I said who gave the order? DPO. Hello? Ha! Then what did he say? That my case has been transferred to the state headquarters without my consent. I, the accuser. And he just allowed the accused to move on like that. Can you imagine? Are you suspecting she was released and taken somewhere? Even my lawyer thinks so. Hmm. Who could have done that? Who? Dad, please don't stress. The most important thing is that you got back your documents and nothing happened to your dollar bills. She can go to her for all I care. staring at me. Doesn't matter. I can stare at you a whole day. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let me go get your food.
Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Okay, let me go. Catch your foot. My princess, your food is served. I'm not hungry. You were the one who asked me to serve the food, remember? And I also have the right to change my mind! like a fugitive when I've done nothing I need to go home I want you to stay a little more no 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 the more I stay the more it seems like I committed a crime besides I need to go and see my brother so it's either you take me home or I find my way home either way I am going home today I have to go home Let me take you home. Thank you. Thank you. What? Is that not Nandi? The princess's fiance? Cherubudu? Is that not Adora? Yeah, eh? What are they doing in the hotel? I know this is hard to believe, but what I am telling you is the truth. I'm not lying. Of course it is. Do you even know the person you're talking about? My princess, I saw them. I saw them coming out of the hotel premises. I know what I'm saying, my princess. How is that even possible? These two don't even know each other. They haven't even met. Okay, my princess, if you don't believe me, at least this will convince you. Take a look at this, my princess. What? made call to tell me that you that you fainted. So what this happened? is all I needed to get to attention. Judy, why? Why? Where have you been and why have you not been taking my calls? I, I told you that I've been... Busy? Busy releasing Adora from the police cell or busy sleeping with her in the hotel? Which of the business should I accept? Should I accept both? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you think I would not know? Is that what that idiotic man of yours told you? Judy, what are you talking about? Okay. Fine. No problem. But please. Can you explain this to me? Surprised? Namdi, how dare you? So it is true. You are the mystery man that released her from the cell. Explain this. Oh, no! Shh. You dirty swine! 
Nobody, how dare you? Oh. So you've been sleeping with my friend all this while? Come, I, I can explain this to you, okay? No, oh, oh, shut up! Oh. Get out! But a thief and a murderer. Wait. What have I done to deserve this name calling? What have you not done, you ungrateful dimbats? So, after stealing from my dad, you decided to extend it to me by stealing my man? Nicole, Judy, which man did I steal from you? Look at her. Oh, just look at her, pretending not to know what I'm talking about. Uh, um, Judy, please. It will do us a favor if you just tell me who I stole from you. Because I don't understand this at all. Are you the only fool around here that does not know that Namdi is my fiance? Are you? Namdi. Which Namdi are you talking about? The same Namdi you've been sleeping with in the hotel. I have a friend by the name Namdi. But I am very sure he's not the one you're referring to. You are such an ingrate. After everything I have done for you and this sick frustrated brother of yours, this is how you choose to pay me? Dora, this will not go well with you. I will so deal with you that you will wish you were dead. Get ready, for you are yet to see the worst of me. Thief. my daughter. I will not allow anyone to humiliate you. Not now. Not tomorrow. Not ever. I will talk to his father. This nonsense got to stop. Sebastian! Wicked man. When are you going to tell me? No, when are you going to tell me that you're engaged to my friend? I am not engaged to her. I am not. 
you are planning a wedding with my friend and you still roped me in. Are you not wicked? And I never knew that both of you were friends. I hate you. I hate you for breaking my heart again. I hate you because I asked you. I asked you if you were real this time and you said yes. I am, I am real. I am real. The, the, the feelings I have for you are still the same. No, I don't say this. I don't want to see you ever. Please don't say this again. Ada, Ada stop. Stop this now. Ada. Adora. Hi. Yes, Dad. What has come over you? Have you lost your senses? Shut up and let me speak. Do I need to re-educate you about the relationship between myself and you? And why you must not do anything stupid to jeopardize it? That I know all that, but... But me not. You know what both families benefit from this relationship. And I don't need to tell you what I will do to you should you decide out of stupidity to jeopardize that this madness must end. And now, and wherever that girl is, that is causing this unnecessary grief, you must do a great job immediately. Dad, why must you say things like that? I have said it. And if you want to try my resolve, I will show you what I do to erratic people like you. Mom, please, please, please. for that useless girl and her brother. All she could do was to steal my man. I am the daughter of a king. No subject of mine can humiliate me and live to tell the story. Adora. Adora! What did I tell you the last time? Nandi. What did I tell you the last time? What are you still doing here? What are you doing here My again? Love, please calm down, okay? Let's talk this over. Talk, Guinea. We don't have anything to talk about. In fact, we don't even have anything in common. Just get out of my house. Get out of my house now, oh. Please, please. Oh. You don't want to go. You will not go up, yeah? You want to see what I'll do? Haven't you done enough? Huh? Haven't you done enough? What more do you want? Please, I would advise you start going. Because if she comes out this way, you won't like her. You're still here! here. My lord, don't do this! You're still here! Don't... You're still here. Out! 
are still standing. You are still standing. Umba, I know you are Chinese. Umba, I know you are Chinese. Eh. Hey. <laughs> you better leave by the time I get back here. Because if I come out again, you will not like what I will do again. Kapuro. Are you sure? Yeah, what's wrong? She's fine, she just threw up. Are you sure? Yes. Let's go to Oh yeah, the way we did it before. One. Are you sure she's fine? She's fine, trust me. She's okay. Well, the king wants to see you. and uncultured of you. First you barge into my room and you can't even address me properly. Do you know exactly who I am in this palace? I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. You better be. And let me warn you, the next time you display such timidity, you'll find yourself leaving this palace. Take your little self out of my sight and tell the king I'll be with him shortly. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> 